touchdown in Cuba at Baracoa. And they went on to St. Augustine, and they set up the first colony in the United States, which we don't hear about so much, <laughs> for obvious reasons. It's, uh... So uh, Baracoa Friendship Association uh, and St. Augustine continue the relationship, and we send bicycles and, uh, when we can. And it's not, we have the permit from the Commerce Department. It's, uh, it's on the other end. It's uh, complicated. Uh, Maya Pedal, Guatemala. Uh, Angola. That's a project actually based in Evanston. SHARE. It's an acronym for, uh, it's a very complicated acronym. And we send bikes to New Orleans. Ever since Katrina, we've been sending, every two years, we send uh, a shipment of bicycles to uh, the Plan B, which is now the New Orleans Community Bike Project. And they love our handy downs you know, we think that bikes are, we send them our three-hour projects, you know, bikes that take more than three hours to repair, and they're fine with that. Oh, of course, they have like two-hour and one-hour projects, but they essentially take our hand me downs They don't have the, the affluent suburbs in New Orleans to go out and have bike collections. These are sun ovens from uh, uh, Sun Oven International. They're out in Elburn, Illinois, and we share shipping. We pay for their shipping, actually. This is to Angola. Some of our bikes arriving in Angola. Angola. So you can see they like the, uh, the fat tire bikes, which is fine for us because we get, we get so many. And uh, they're not so useful in Chicago. Our roads are much better. And most people in Chicago prefer a uh, faster bike, racing bike. Or the vintage Schwinn and, and Raleigh three speeds. So everybody likes the... Uh, kind of collectible bikes here, or they like the, uh, the fast bikes that you can make into something uh, like a fixed gear. But they like the fat tire bikes in uh, developing countries, which works out, because if you go to these college towns, so we're collecting bikes from all the college towns in the Midwest, most of them, and they, they throw away, the students discard these wonderful, you know, $150 mountain bikes after two years of use, right? So we just get uh, wonderful bikes donated. This is Ghana, a ceremony when they receive their bikes. Some countries, they, uh, they have ongoing bicycle projects. And sometimes what they do is they just give away the bikes to the 500 poorest families. Like in Cuba, they, don't, they just give away the bikes to the 500 poorest families each time a container arrives. But there's no correct solution. We actually like the solution where they employ mechanics and keep the bikes operational. Sort of like what we do. They get bikes and they, they, they uh, ship, they give away a certain percentage, they sell a certain percentage to, for, to pay their rent and their, their salaries, and they, uh, and they give away the rest. This, uh, I think that's Portuguese. I think this is uh, this would be Angola. Back to Angola. Angola. We collect wheelchairs as well because they have these recycling events. You know, you can't throw away electronics anymore in the, in the landfill. So we go to these electronics recycling events and we collect bicycles. So and uh, we get on the list and we gather uh, and wheelchairs and we get crutches and walkers. You know. And the walkers are being tossed away because now the walkers have like a little seat that deploys and you get to sit down and you get dizzy. You know, this is the walkers. You'll know them 50 years ago. <laughs> you know. But the new ones have like cup holders and everything. So we get <laughs> airbags. <laughs> so we're, we're the beneficiaries of all this, the, the detritus, the wonderful stuff that just gets thrown away. and. Uh, and, the, and they rent out wheelchairs to the uh, like Medicare recipients, and, and when they're done, they just throw them away because they don't, they want to maintain, they want a price system, they want to keep the price. So we try to intercept at the scrap yards. We try to catch the bikes and wheelchairs. That's how we started for the first five years. We we're just going, 
in front of the scrapyards as the junk guys came in from the weekend's uh, fishing trip, you know, through the alleys. It's like trawlers coming in, and we're, we're like the cannery. So we would just uh, buy bikes off these uh, scrap trucks as they came in for five years, every Monday, at the, over here on Kingsbury. But then the bikes, you know, with the, with the bike culture in Chicago, the way it is, bikes uh, are very expensive. The scrap guys aren't stupid. They, they know they can get more for a, a bicycle than five dollars. So they, they all have kiosks over at Swaparama. And, and you can only pay like five or ten dollars, otherwise you're, you're in danger of becoming a fencing operation for stolen bikes. So we quit. Okay, here you go. That's from uh, Zambia or South Africa. They, uh, we have one on display at our, our shop over on Western. Bike ambulance. Bike ambulance. And that's, it could be one of our bikes. It, oh, here we are. There's no particular order to this slideshow. This is a, a Guatemala. It's the rope a pump where you, you put a rope, you put a PVC tube all the way down and back. Perforations in the bottom of your PVC tube where the water supply is. And then you drop a rope with uh, beads tied every like foot or two foot. And then the beads go down and, and pull the water up. So you're going around in circles and you're pulling up the water and you can go pretty, pretty deep. This is like the simplest pump and people in developing countries know how to repair this pump. And you, the, the nice thing is you can go pretty deep. And so they, they, they modified it to, to run off of a little bicycle. Could you say that again, how it works? I'm sorry. You put uh, a rope with uh, beads tied every couple feet on the rope. Like glass beads? Wooden beads probably, glass beads. Glass is heavy, so you want something that will help you. Wood is kind of neutral because it floats, right? So wood is all I've ever seen. So you put beads, and so they're, it doesn't have to, so they're inside the PVC tube, and the rope goes down the PVC tube and back up and up the PVC tube and it pulls the water on top of it, pulls a column of water on top of the bead. Put it down well. Yeah, put it down well, I'm sorry. Put it down where the water is, picks up the water. And it's uh, 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 Bomba de Macate. It's, uh, and it, it's real popular in developing countries. I came down back to Africa, back to Zambia. Kindergarten in uh, South Africa. A woman chewing a, a tire in El Salvador. Happy cyclists in El Salvador. So you see that they're riding bikes that were probably used three years by a student in uh, like a college. And, and I would say most of our recipients have never taken driver's training, don't drive, don't ever plan on driving. Kids in, uh, in El Salvador showing off their, their bikes. Like when you use a flash on the uh, bikes because you get all the reflectors. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, Gara. He's uh, he actually lives in Evanston and he has a, a, a project in Quito, Angola, unloading bikes in, in Uganda. So you can see we we load 180 bikes like. 10 rows of uh, 18 on the floor. Then we put uh, plywood or oriented strand board, and then we have a floor and we do it again. And then we do it a third time, without the plywood, the third time. So we can get a lot of bikes in the container. Take the pedals off and the handlebars. It's like when you get a bike in a, a box and it's missing the front wheel, and the pedals are off, and the 
seeds off so you can get a, 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 it's called flattening the bicycle flatten it so it fits more that's sort of what it looks like you got spare wheels and spare parts you just dump buckets of parts in between the bikes and they filter down Uh, no, it's, uh, you put it on a, they just drop the box in front of us and then it goes by CSX, it goes by train to the ship, gets the ship. You know, the, what do they call it, the uh, intermodal, you know, they pick it up and uh, it's a 40 foot, most of these countries can't handle the, the big ones you see on the, on the road, the 53 footers. But this, this is like a, a, a can of bikes, a box of bikes. And the, 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 the idea of putting the parts in is because we've got a lot of empty space, right? My dream is to, like to send uh, like ping pong balls or something like that. You just drop them and they just filter down in, you know, or like yeah. marbles. You know, we could introduce marbles if they don't have it already. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's just such a waste of space. We run out of space before we wait. Uh, our, our shipments are not very heavy. We say like, you know, we get 500 bikes and they weigh maybe 30, 40 pounds each. So the trucks are, are capable of doing, the ships are able to carry much more. So the, the idea is to increase the value of the shipment. So you want to put as much little stuff and parts in that they can use to fix existing bikes or these bikes. Back to uh, Uganda, Prisoner Support Network. Prisoner Support Network. They have the best photographer. Here's a, a famous Maya pedal project with their bike blender. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they don't use I'm the glad, electric. But that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, and they have to. She's not on a conventional bike seat. They had to make a new seat because the Mayan women don't, for the most part, don't ride bikes. Right, so she, there was a, it was hard to get, she's essentially sitting on a chair. It's not a bike saddle. They had trouble introducing the idea. And this is Tanzania, uh, like a, a, a poor man, a, per, a poor person's bob, you know, the one wheel trailer. And here's uh, another reason we, we don't send volunteers to Africa because they, they fall in love with the, the place and they don't come back. This is Danny uh, Scarangella and he never came back. He just got a job at the State Department. Back to uh, Ghana. This is one of our first partners, a sister city, uh, Patriensa in uh, Ghana. And uh, showing off her bike. We do events around the uh, Midwest. We do the Green Festival. We do the Christmas. So, so if you've seen uh, these contraptions before, this is like uh, she's pumping water into the rain barrel that we commissioned an artist to do our rain barrel. Uh, so this is like a, a Green Festival in Clarendon Hills. This morning we're in uh, McHenry County College. There's another Bioneers event there this morning, and we, we did that. So the idea is to meet people that will go on and collect bikes for working bikes. Meet uh, individuals who will hate to see bikes. They have days in the suburbs where you don't have to pay money to put stuff in the alley. You know, amnesty days. Because normally if you're going to throw out a refrigerator or or a bicycle, you have to put a dollar seventy-five tag that you got from the village or the city. So they have days called amnesty days or trash days where they don't charge you to throw away your five hundred dollar bicycle. Right? <laughs> and the scrap guys just they know about them. Right? So the idea is we want people to go around on scrap days and pick up bicycles and anything useful. Because the scrap guys all they want is the, the, the steel. You know, they'll take a a sewing machine, and wow, that's like, they're getting uh, 10 cents a pound. So a bicycle is worth like $33 at the scrapyard. 
So you can't go to a, a, a junk guy and say, I'll buy that bike off your truck for, for $5. You know, it's, it's just not worth their while to climb up there. And this is the Science of Sport event, where Chicago is trying to get the Olympics. So they're trying to make their kids look exceptional through the world. I mean, these kids are all above average. But, so here's powering a blender with a bicycle. Powering a television. 